Greetings, fellow humans. Don't be afraid. I'm not here to threaten or even admonish you. But I am here to gently warn you and perhaps even implore you for help. My name is Cody, and I just celebrated my 74th birthday. I was born in 2043, a date that many of you will see. It's not so distant into your future. And for those of you who don't want to do the math, it's now 2117. I live in a town that's not so different from your own. We work, play, and enjoy life in ways that you would recognize from the early 21st century. We shop at many of the same locations, although what you used to call shopping online, we just call shopping. We've made amazing advances in technology. Yes, we now have hoverboards, but they're not what you'd imagined. And in medicine, I think I look pretty good for a septuagenarian, especially from your point of view. And in communication, as you can see, obviously. We also have some of the same issues that you're experiencing. We still have wars, but mostly they're for resources, either in protecting them or the need for them. And that's why I'm here. You are currently going through a great debate on climate change, and forgive the pun, it's become a hot political topic. Although most of the scientific community agrees that global climate change is happening, there are those that disagree on whether it is man-made, or even if we can do anything about it. One of the arguments is that the climate goes through cyclical changes with or without human intervention. It has been locally hotter or colder throughout history. I just ask, even if we are not the major contributing cause, can't we at least help to alleviate the issue? If there is arid land, a natural occurrence in some areas that cause famine, don't we come up with scientific or technical advances to help preserve life? If there are naturally occurring diseases, don't we come up with vaccines or methods to reduce and even eliminate them? So, even if this is a natural occurring phenomenon, can't we come together to find common ground to help reduce our impact? We may come to different conclusions on the way to address the problem, but I think we can all agree that clean air and water are important to us. And for me, right now, we are fighting for both. My great aunt and uncle went to an event in 2017 called March for Science. Although they were on different sides of the political spectrum, they both agreed on the importance of scientific principles and methods and the need for intelligent discussion, not ad hominem attacks on other people's beliefs or conclusions. It doesn't matter whether you're a Democrat or Republican or liberal or conservative. I think you can come together to help me and my children's generation as well as your own. The 22nd century is pretty awesome, but it's yours to make. And I can't wait to see you here.